Hi guys, like we are having some exception and we are like writing multiple catch blocks and what will be the behavior, okay, and what will be the guidelines that we should concern about, okay. So suppose this is the array we have, okay. So in here we will check what uh, like we will throw array in the out of bounds of exception intentionally, okay. In the catch block we can write exception because it is the parent class of all the exception classes in java or you can just explicitly mention the array in the out of bounds of exception because you are sure about it like we will definitely throw that exception okay so it will definitely throw the exception okay you can see the same so now like writing another exception okay means another catch block to handle the exception okay suppose here i am writing down the same exception class we have already handled that particular exception in the catch block so we can now write another catch block for same exception okay cannot uh, declare another catch block for the same exception okay so here i am handling exception okay and here we are writing exception uh, the child class exception that is array in the out of bounds of exception okay so exception is the parent of all the exceptions like for checked or like for unchecked uh, unchecked means runtime exceptions i am talking about okay so this array in the out of bounds of exception comes under what runtime exception okay so now you here you have declared exception okay so suppose if it is throwing some exception here then that will automatically handled by this catch block so there is no need of this catch okay so in that case you cannot declare any another catch block because exception is already parent of all the exception classes in java so you cannot declare another catch block to handle that particular child class exception okay so but what else you can do suppose here i am writing array in the out of bounds of exception okay and here you can declare the parent class exception because it may uh, you are not sure like maybe you can get another exception and you are not sure about that suppose it is not throwing me the exception like suppose we are doing this so now this catch block will not execute but what else we can do like we obviously it will throw me another exception that will be arithmetic exception okay we cannot divide by zero that kind of exception it will throw okay so if you see get message then you can see the same okay so this is the chaining that you should understand in case of we have multiple cache blocks